You're on a night out with Jezza. What song do you request from the DJ? Don't Stop Believing by Journey. <laughs> Would you get the karaoke mic out? We could do a duet. Hello, my name is Emma Hardy and I'm the Member of Parliament for Hull West and Hesel. Why do you decide to go into politics? It was because of Michael Gove. He was the fuel behind me. Michael Gove? Oh, Michael Gove, absolutely, yes. He created me. I was a primary teacher. I didn't like what he'd changed in education. And I've uh, slowly worked my way up to being a point now where I can tell him that face to face. Have you told him that yet? Not yet. If you could be in Westminster at any other time, when would it be? Well, it'd be good to be in there when Labour have a huge majority and we can get loads of things done. That would be exciting. What's the Blair years? Oh, the Corbyn years to come. Ah, nice. If you could offer advice to yourself ten years ago, what would it be? <laughs> not to worry so much about my children not sleeping through the night because they will do eventually. <laughs> if you were Prime Minister for a day without any repercussions, what would you do? Oh, I'd get rid of high stakes accountability for schools. Wow, that was that was quick and specific. <laughs> Normally it's Maybe just... too precise. <laughs> What's your favourite crisp flavour? Salt and vinegar. Saltier the better. What part of education policy makes you the most angry? Wow, where do you start? <laughs> Which part? Just open this can of worms. <laughs> doesn't make me so angry. Um, well, there's high stakes accountability, there's the lack of arts and, what, and the impact of the EBAC, there's the primary school testing. I'll stop now. <laughs> what did you teach? I taught primary schools um, at children aged six to seven. Who's the funniest MP you've met so far? It's got to be the MP Stephen Pound, who makes me howl with laughter from the back benches because he's so witty and creative. Is me up. See the people's favourite. Uh, he's my favourite. Are the green benches really uncomfortable? Yeah, and some of them there is a ridge in the middle, so you end up sort of half lent on and half lent off, and so you've got to sort of manoeuvre yourself to be both sides on on one of the ridges. Do you have a phobia? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not keen on flying. Flying <laughs> yeah. at all? No, not not really. But I prefer thinking it of not of a phobia of flying, more of a phobia of falling from an aircraft. What's it like following Alan Johnson? I mean, it's good in some ways in that people are, you know, the constituency has uh, people highly regard the previous Labour MP. Labour has a good name in the area, so that's always a bonus. Did he give you any advice or thoughts? Yeah, he said to me not to lose my sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever want to be Prime Minister? No. And finally, what do you hope to achieve as an MP? I'd like to have some changes to education. That would be definitely one of my things. And for my constituency, I'd like to see greater investment in transport in the area and greater investment in the people in that area, because the people there are great and they deserve more than what this government offers them.